need to nibble me. He's in a nibbling mood. A nibbling mood. That's what we like to hear, buddy. Hello. Hello, everyone from beautiful, sunny Arizona. Do you know we're in Arizona? I keep forgetting. <laughs> Hi, we're Sarah, Jess, and Oliver. This week we were escaping the cold of Southern Texas and heading west until things got just a bit too hot. And it just, just uh, went, a, went ahead and, and I almost caught on fire. And make sure you subscribe to Uphill Adventure right here on YouTube as well as Instagram. This week's agenda was to escape the polar vortex. Good morning. Good morning. Do you know how cold it got last night? Like 20. Oh my god. 25, I think. There was ice on the door handle this morning when I took this creature outside. Ollie. <gasps> oh. We can't stay. We can't stay. We literally cannot stay. Five degrees here. Is it an emergency? Are you sure? Didn't we just go out? But you love it? You love the ice? Sit. a couple hours into our journey and it is already so much warmer. We have just stopped for gas and I think it's what, 50 degrees, sir? Maybe. Almost 50. The sun has come out, the skies are blue, so we are on the right track.
don't think we've said where we're going yet. All right, so we just spent the last week in Austin. Um, we were there to try and try and finalize some wedding plans, but it didn't really happen. And we really needed to stay longer to do that, but we couldn't because the temperature in Austin now is like plummeting. The polar vortex is coming, so we are escaping. Um, and we have left Austin. We are still in Texas, but we're about to cross into New Mexico and uh, make our way to Arizona in the next day. It's always warm in Arizona. Always warm in Arizona. Well, in Southern Arizona. sunshine <laughs> so we just stopped at a park in where are we las cruces new mexico in new mexico um, to get ollie some exercise and to cook some dinner and now we are going to find a spot to sleep So I can't fix it now. We'll okay. have to go to Lowe's. Mm -hmm. We get a. The, well, we'll be able to get a new end piece. So I'll just have to cut the wire. Okay. It looks and, like it was already cut there anyway. Yeah, cut it and strip it, which I have the things to do that. And then I gotta get. I just need to get a new, a new fuse. end for it. What about the actual fuse know. thing? Is that did it blow or is it just that no, wire? No, it's just the wire that melted onto it. Um, I have a new, I have a second cover that we okay. can use. We can yeah. throw that one away, okay. um, line up better, but it needs to be unhooked now. Yeah. It can't sit like this. Um, okay. Because of the battery? In well, the because it's live, like it's getting oh, okay. current right now. Yeah. Um, I don't really want to undo this side because this is like in the thing. Yeah. Um. Today <laughs> I didn't think I guess and I put this little tiny wire inside the fuse covering instead of on the outside and it just just uh went it went ahead and and I almost <laughs> caught on fire
Good morning, everyone. So, yesterday we had a bit of a situation where I accidentally, well, all right, circle back. A couple days ago, last week, I have no idea when, um, I switched out the way that we were charging from our alternator from the BIM LI-225 to the Orion 12-12-30. Uh, the reason why we did that is because the BIM LI-225 um, unfortunately cannot charge lithium batteries up to 14.4 unless you upgrade your alternator. Uh, this is information that we were not aware of and therefore um, we didn't feel like that product met our needs. So we went ahead and swapped to the Orion which has been working beautifully. It's so much easier to install and it gets our batteries charged all the way up to 14.4, which is needed to balance the cells of the lithium. So spent about six or seven hours one day in Austin uh, doing that, taking out the old BM, taking out the old wiring, uh, taking down the conduit from under the van, like putting in the new wiring, reattaching the conduit. It was a very big process. And at the very end of that, I was very tired. I was so done doing what I was doing and I didn't think. And I put the BMV positive cord in the fuse box accidentally. So what you should do is this put the cord outside of the fuse box, not down through the fuse box. And uh, the other night we were making toast and uh, uh, it nearly caught on fire. So thankfully it didn't, but today I, uh, well yesterday I went to Lowe's in search of one of these, couldn't find one. Walmart had one. So today we're gonna fix it and uh, hopefully move on. Do you want some of my heart? It's brownie batter. It's the most delicious. Oliver wants some of it. Can you get down, please? Ollie. Off. Has to go full way. So here's our fuse. And what I had done, let me see if I can take this off one handed with my left hand. Maybe? No. All right, so what I had done, we have this wire that connects to this end of the fuse up here. And I had ran this through the middle of this box, not on the outside, and it melted from the heat. And you can see it wasn't very good. So we're gonna fix it. Alrighty, so I've got my new terminal end on here. Let's see if we're gonna focus on that, maybe, no. All right, so we've got our new uh, terminal Kind of connector there and we're all back and hooked up i don't think that the fuse was damaged at all but i think i am going to order a new one just in case um so that we're in the clear just put the cover on and as you can see the wire is not running down through inside of here but instead running on the outside i just tucked it all back there for now it looks pretty messy but uh, like i said i'm going to order a new fuse so when i swap that out I'll probably clean this up a little bit, but hopefully that's the end. Come on, let's go.
so that is it from us this week. We are happy to be somewhere that is not snowing, not raining. It is blue skies, sunshine. Beautiful, uh, beautiful. Beautiful weather here. And we will see what we get up to next week. Um, but we are glad to have you with us. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that. It helps us out so much. And we'll see you all same time, same place next week. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.